it's scary. It, it's close to home. You know, you're always concerned about somebody, you know, being violent in any way. Two men are wanted for attempted murder in Greenville County. The attack happened near the train tracks by Old Easley Highway. That's about half a mile west of West Greenville. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell is back from that area tonight. She's been digging into the story. Ann? Amy, Tom, none of the people I spoke with who live and work in that area had heard about this crime. Most of them said that section of town is pretty safe. Greenville County deputies are looking for two people they say tried to kill someone on Sunday. That's when they responded to the Alice Avenue area of Old Easley Highway. Edward Robinson has lived off Old Easley Highway for years. He says he was surprised when 7 News informed him of the attack. We very seldom have too much uh, violence here now in the last 10 or 15 years. Authorities say the assault began with the victim just walking down Old Easley Highway. The sheriff's office says the two men chased the victim all the way down to some woods by the railroad tracks when they finally called up and assaulted them, stabbing them at least one time. Deputies are asking for the public to help them identify the people and the car in this photo. Dana Williamson owns a body shop right by the railroad tracks. It's a little scary and, you know, my daughters are here all day working, so, it, you know, it does concern me that, that this kind of thing would happen right here. Neither Robinson nor Williamson had heard about the incident before 7 News brought it to their attention. Well, I was surprised because I had not heard about it. Robinson says the people in the Freetown subdivision where he lives have a page online where they share updates about what's going on in the area. Freetown is a great neighborhood. We got association and that association, even though that everyone don't participate into it, but each uh, month we meet uh, once a month at the community center. And we still don't know who that victim is or how they're doing at this point. So, of course, we're hearing from the community there. There is concern about this crime. Do authorities say people need to do anything differently, play it safe, because these people are still out there? They haven't said anything particular to us, just that they're looking for information on who those people are and any information uh, identifying that car as well. You can call 23 Crime uh, to alert the Greenville Crime Stoppers. Hopefully they'll get their suspects very soon, Anne. Thank you.